just driving. We are going to be charging the car. What the heck? Hey guys, so I have a super, super interesting range video for you today. Normally, I show you where we start and then where we end and give you updates along the way, but we're getting right into it. And that's just because, well, I have 78 miles left. If you look at that, all my battery pack, 78 miles, about 30% left of charge. To get to the supercharger it's telling us to go to, well, it's 51 miles and we'll get there with 16% charge. Okay, so everything should be fine, right? Well, that supercharger, it's an hour away. So we should be pretty much dead in the water, right? I've been keeping the AC at a cool 75 degrees with recirculation. This is our route, basically what it looks like. A lot of it is going up mountains and going down mountains. And I think the going down mountains saves us. So this is why Tesla is superior electrically. Electric cars in general are superior than gas cars when you're doing some of these mountain runs is because if we pop over to the energy tab let's take a look if we go to the rated yes we are not doing too good going uphill has cost us so much and even if we go to the trip one guys check it out we're still taking a lot of range on this trip down but we're doing better than predicted we've consumed about 50 miles we're going optimally with range and we're projected to get there at 40 miles so 78 miles is what we have currently we will arrive there with 40 miles that means we're only using 38 miles we have 78 miles we'll arrive there with 48 miles 38 miles we're only using what the heck how because if you look here it says we have to travel about 50 miles okay the car is shaking because we're on the road but it says 50 miles is what we have to travel to get over here and that's where regen braking comes in so handy looking at the energy tab when we go into the mountain area right here you can see we're using pretty linearly down amount of energy we're going to get to as low as 15 miles on our battery so yes we are going to get pretty low but immediately once we hit that 15 mile area we take our range back up so just driving just driving we are going to be charging the car what the heck you can't do that in a gas vehicle guys you just can't electric vehicles are superior and i'm not even driving i've been on the freeway for about like what an hour or so and i haven't touched the steering wheel whatsoever and now i can take a nap and i'll see you guys at the charger all right guys so i might have to take back about what i said about electric cars being superior because we're now using more energy than the trip projection we're currently at 20 percent the bar has gone orange from green we have 47 miles left we have no charging stops until this one right here so we are out of luck if anything happens we have another 32 miles to go 47 miles left here and we should arrive with 14 percent should we turn back the air condition on you know what screw it we're stress testing this i want to be comfortable we're going 75 on the ac you know what we'll go 76 76 will be okay we'll go back here and hopefully we start ticking up in range so 46 miles currently if we ever go up in mileage i'll let you know and i'm also gonna update you when we go below 10 percent because that's uh yeah that's happening for sure to save some range i'm gonna try to draft behind this truck i'm just trying to stay around 70 as well and we have a fall distance of two so hopefully we can catch his draft once we get a bit closer to him all right guys so we hit the number we hit that number we just tapped it and let's check out what that number is it is 25 miles and for my car this equals to about 10 percent we have hit 10 percent i've decided to keep the climate running because well you know it's it's like nine it's almost it's 100 degrees basically out here we're keeping it at 77 though we are conserving a bit usually around 75 this is what our current battery percentage is dude we just hit nine percent going back to miles this is our range so you can see percentage versus miles this is what it looks like our rated range oh man we are tanking on the mountains so we've consumed 104 miles but we've really only driven like 70. we've consumed about 30 miles more than the estimated vehicle consumption and that's for rated but if we look at the trip we are still doing pretty good now nine percent we are at nine percent right now we shouldn't dip anything lower than that we are at the point now once we go over this little part 
where we should just be going downhill, which means we should only be increasing our range. Our range is optimal. We've currently been driving for about two hours or we will be driving for two hours once we get to the charging stop. Like I said, we've only driven about 70, 80 miles, we'll give it that, but we've consumed so much more. Our watt hours per mile is super high. Usually it's like 232, that's my overall lifetime but we are going up mountains and we have lots of cargo. Speaking about over mountains, we are over this mountain. I'm so over it. Now it's time to go downhill. We have gotten a little bit lower. We just tapped 8%. I don't think we're gonna go any lower though, so place your bets. Do you think it'll go lower than 8%? I don't think so. Since we are going downhill, if you guys do draft, I would totally recommend increasing your follow distance behind any cars. I'm increasing mine to seven, and I'll probably move out of the way of this truck or out from behind it. Oh, look at that, that Tesla has a bike rack. And that's because when you go downhill super fast, sometimes it uses the brakes over regen. So just gonna sit here and watch this and see if it ticks up. Oh, it did, it literally just ticked up right when I said that, we're at 9% now. So we went up about three miles. We went from 8% to 9%. And we should only be going up from here. All right, guys, check this out. It is all downhill from here. There's a truck lane where they have to go 35 only. It's so downhill. There's no one in front of us, so you bet your butt cheeks we're using regen braking all the way down here. Look at that. It's so regen healthy. We're at 9%. Let's see if in this little update it'll go to 10%. I think it will. I believe we should be arriving at the Charger pretty soon. Yeah, we're exiting the Grapevine. That's what this whole area between the mountains is called. We should be there in eight minutes. It's gonna take us 7.5 miles. So 24 miles left here on our battery. Oh yeah, we're chilling. Don't even need to worry. I did see something interesting though. Look at this. It said for range tips, set the cabin temperature to 72% to save more mileage, but it's 97, right? So if we set it lower, it wants me to use more electricity? I don't know, but I mean, hey, we'll follow it and see what happens. I usually stay around like 75-ish, but what the heck, if it's saying it, oh, it just, it, it just went away. Okay, well, we'll go back to a comfortable 75 for now. And look at that. We went up to 10%. All right, guys, I'll see you at the chargers. All right, guys, so we just got to the supercharger. Sentry mode is unavailable due to insufficient charge. We are 11%, though we did get to 12% for a second. There's tons, tons of stalls out here. There's even a Rivian, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a Rivian charging. So these are compatible with other non-Teslas. Let's go ahead and plug in. We did navigate to this supercharger. It didn't recondition the battery, but I think that's because it was so hot outside it didn't need to preheat it. Now let's see this tick up. Look at the miles per hour going crazy. Oh my gosh, that Model Y just zoomed in here. He's probably low as heck. So check that out, guys. We are charging at about 800 miles per hour hour we're getting about 170 kilowatts now if we check this out and guys all of this it's mall space so 20 minutes to continue trip yeah sure but if we charge to 100 percent guys for 100 percent from basically zero it only takes 35 minutes that's not bad that's enough to go in there maybe look around a bit get some food that's really you you barely even have enough time to get food and then come back caught a cool cyber tessie over there heck yeah guys so we're just gonna stay in charge for the full amount because i have a refrigerator and an air fryer in the tesla so i'm gonna make some food that takes about 10 minutes to do then like what 20 minutes to eat that's some good youtube netflix time so we're just gonna do that while the car charges and then i'll be so ready so full full of energy to keep going with the rest of this trip if you want to see where we're going make sure you stay subscribed and if you want to see the next part of the trip range test wise because we really do stress test these batteries make sure you stay subscribed for that i hope you have an awesome day make sure you go out and enjoy the sunshine and if you're in california you better bring your sunscreen